Yes. Okay, so early on, there was like, Spider-Man showed up. I, was it like issue three or issue yeah, four? issue three. Okay. Right. So what was I like the was general decent. policy or idea? Because I know later on G.I. Joe would show up like with other IP crossovers yeah. and all of that. Well, Spider-Man's a good story. Okay, so um, Jim Salakrup was the, um, was the writer. It was his idea to introduce Spider-Man into Transformers. You know, Transformers at that time, we didn't know what we had. You know, like, oh, it's, you know, another licensed toy character that we're producing a comic book for. Who knows if, like I said, we only, we only planned to do four issues. So we didn't know if we, if we had a success in our hand. So at that moment in Marvel history, if you could get Spider-Man to guest star in a new book, you know, to help bring attention to it, that was the best you can hope for. You know, that was like tremendous. That's like, you know, having, uh, you know, uh, the, the president go out and, can, and, and campaign for your candidate, you know, or something like that. If, um, so that, that was like a big plus. And oh, Jim Salakrup was not only the writer, but he was also the editor of Spider-Man. So he had, it was in, under his control to guest star Spider-Man in somebody else's book. Um, Hasbro rejected Spider-Man. They didn't want us to use Spider-Man in Transformers. And we were like, what? You know, we're doing you this tremendous favor and you're rejecting it? The reason they rejected it was at that time, a rival toy company had the rights to produce Spider-Man action figures. So they looked at it in a completely different way than we looked at it, which was we're helping to, they looked at it as we're helping to promote the rival toy company's toy sales. So that left us a little flabbergasted, but okay, you know, there's all sorts of ways of looking at something. So what we came up with, well, actually Jim, the uh, writer, came up with the idea was, um, at the same time that we, came, we were coming out with that issue, Spider-Man had just gotten his new black costume in Secret Wars. And so we suggested, well, what if he appears in the black costume? Because that black costume is not being used as an action figure. And Hasbro said, oh, okay, we can do that. <laughs> so as long as we didn't have him in the traditional red and blue costume where we'd be promoting somebody else's action figures, we were able to use Spider-Man.